Am I living in the twilight zone? I feel like I'm in the twilight zone because Meryl Streep said last night, disrespect invites disrespect, violence incites violence, and when the powerful use their position to bully others, we all lose. I completely agree with this statement. However, Meryl Streep is using this as a political statement to suggest that Donald Trump is the first person in politics to disrespect, violence, powerful using their position to bully others. Are you serious? This is offensive to me. We're currently bombing seven countries. ISIS was created from sloppy foreign policy. We killed Saddam. We killed Gaddafi. We tried to kill Assad. ISIS is using all U.S. weapons that we just left in Iraq. Meanwhile, Meryl Streep has the nerve to act like Donald Trump is bringing violence into politics. We're bombing seven countries. We use drones. It's like a horror movie. Imagine a machine attacking you. We've killed over a hundred civilians. Moms, kids, people who look and think just like you. Dead from our policies. Even though the economy is booming and inflation is going up, the average family makes less. The average debt is more. The people, the middle, the lower class are getting bullied by the elites, bullied by the establishment, bullied by Democrats and Republicans, and Meryl Streep has the nerve to act like Donald Trump is bringing violence and bullying into politics? Are you kidding me? We're bombing seven countries. Chicago has the highest murder rate that it's had in 10, 20 years. Meryl Streep, do you know what's going on in Syria? Do you know what's going on in the Middle East? Or do you live in some celebrity fantasy world where Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton are Mother Teresa? Oh, let's get rid of Donald Trump and everything will be okay and back to normal. Yeah, maybe for you and your yacht and you and your mansion, but not for the people of America. Not for the lower class people. Not for the middle class people. Not for all of the Americans who are afraid of all the destruction and war that is our economy. Our economy is based off war and defense. We go to other countries, we fuck shit up, we kill their leader, we leave it a complete mess, and then you have the nerve to sit on TV like, hey, I think Donald Trump's bringing bullying into politics. What a joke. And I would love to see what liberal media does to this because I'm not a conservative. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not whatever you're trying to label me. I'm a genuine person. I'm an environmentalist. I'm a social justice warrior. A real one, not a fake one that sits on a throne and acts like, oh, well, I think Hillary Clinton's nice and I have no idea what happens overseas so I'm gonna act like she's Mother Teresa and I'm gonna act like Obama's Gandhi because he smiled at me and he's kinda funny on TV. Your reality doesn't exist. That's why someone like Donald Trump is getting into office because this fantasy world that you imagine like, oh my god I'm so afraid of violence. Oh my goodness, violence incites violence? Really? Then maybe you should talk about the fact that we're bombing seven countries and nothing about that is normal. The perpetual war state that we've been in for the past 10 years, there's nothing okay about it. Trump comes through and is like, hey, I think I might try to work with Russia to destroy ISIS. And the entire liberal media is attacking him like, oh, he's racist. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's so stupid. What's stupid is killing Saddam, killing Gaddafi, and just leaving an empty vacuum for terrorists to run rampant. That's what's stupid, and that's what politicians have been doing, Republican and Democrat. So don't sit here on your Golden Globe high horse just because you have all the liberal media backing you saying, oh, I'm standing up against bullying. I'm standing up against violence. No, you're not. Your ignorance and your dishonesty, you're not helping anyone. You're not helping violence. You're not helping bullying. You're hurting it because you're failing to see reality. Your little fantasy rich person world where, oh, well, I know all the media sources, so they're going to make me look like a saint. Yeah, that's what they did to Hillary Clinton, and that's why she's not president, because she's not a saint, and you're not fooling anybody. Acting like Gandhi's been in office for a hundred years, and Donald Trump, the big scary man that's going to change everything. Do you even know what's happening overseas? Do you know what's happening here to real people? Because something is seriously wrong. And I'm not saying I saw Donald Trump at first like, oh, there's the guy I choose. That's not how I feel. But it's a joke if you're going to act like violence and bullying is something new to the American political lifestyle. What a joke, Meryl Streep.